I am definitely proud of FEU as my alma mater. But what really makes me proud of FEU, which many students may not know, is that FEU is an oasis of culture. Welcome to FEU Auditorium, one of the most historical places not only in the city but in the Philippines because most of the world-class performances are conducted here. Let's discover FEU's beauty as Mr. Martin Lopez tours us in this oasis. This is one of four barreliefs by the Italian sculptor Francesco Monti who worked in the Philippines in the 1950s. And here in the FEU admin lobby, we have four of these barreliefs. This one depicts the influence of the Spanish and the Filipinos, and you will see the baptism by the Spaniards of the Filipinos. Notice the detail, you'll see the galleons up at the top, the missionary with his rosary around his robe, carrying a cross, the helmet, the conquistador, baptizing a child, On the other side, we see the influence of the Chinese on the Philippines. We see a Chinese merchant with an incense burner. Notice the incense coming up with the chest or the baul with the Chinese lock. Notice the Philippines as part of the globe on the lower left. But it is framed in a panel of green and as you move backwards you see a series of three panels of green squares which tie in to the art deco elements of the admin building of FEU one of five buildings designed by national artist for architecture Pablo Antonio who built the FU campus around Art Deco styles. Other Art Deco elements in the lobby of the admin building include the pillars in the FEU colors of green and gold. Again, a very subtle um, element of Art Deco. Again, it's the shapes, it's the patterns, and you also see the patterns in the grill work of the doors on both ends of the lobby. In the far back of the altar, we see a mural by Carlos Botong Francisco, another national artist for visual art. And this is his crucified Christ. The chapel has three murals by Botong. The crucifix, but also the 14 stations of the cross. A very rare and unique work of art by another national artist, Vicente Manansala, who came up with this mosaic in tile of Our Lady of Fatima. From one Manansala work of art to another. Another rare work of art by a national artist and he's known for his paintings. Yet, he came up with a mosaic and he also came up with the sculptor free range sculptures. Again, the only ones of its kind. For the balance of old and new, the UNESCO awarded Far Eastern University with the Honorable Mention Award for uh, Conservation of Cultural Heritage. Then the Cultural Center of the Philippines recognized FEU's five buildings by national artist Pablo Antonio with this plaque. That is why FEU is an oasis of culture. 